What up though, y'all? It's Chris. Appreciate you connecting with me while I do these 10,000 steps. It's the first day of the pumpkin spice season at Starbucks. So guess who's gonna get dragged to go to Starbucks? This guy. Um, I got a I got an interesting topic for y'all today. Um, this was a a subscriber request uh, topic. And you know, you guys have been giving me a lot of ideas. So what I'm gonna do from now on is that when you guys give me topic suggestions, if I end up making a video out of it, I'm gonna give you a shout out. So instead of just being like, this is a subscriber topic, I'm gonna give you guys a shout out, whoever was the one that recommended it. I think that's a, a, a good way to, you know, acknowledge that you helped. You know, you gave me a plug. You hook your brother up. So the um, the topic is, what would I tell my my younger self? You know, if I had an opportunity to, what would I tell my younger self? This I think is very interesting because, uh, some things I would tell my my younger self to watch out for to spare myself some of these experiences I've had that, you know, just really sucked, man. But at the same time, some of those experiences, even though they may have been uncomfortable or they may have hurt, you know, it might have been some pain and suffering to go along with it. I'm a better person on the other side of it. So it's really tough to kind of, you know, what, what, what would I tell my younger self? Um, for sure. I would tell my younger self to do better with, with credit. You know, I was 19 years old, got my first credit card, 18 or 19. I got my first credit card, first two credit cards, and they were rip offs. My very first one, I remember, um, it had a $300 limit. And what am I hearing? People be extra. Somebody's riding their bike down the street just yelling for whatever reason. I, I don't know. I always attract noise. Have you guys noticed that? Like when I'm out and about, I attract all the noise to my mic. But anyway, um, I would tell myself about credit. I uh, would not repeat the same mistakes I did early on with credit if I could avoid doing so. So my very first credit card, my first two credit cards, because I got them like back to back. They were like $300 limits and they had these horrible activation fees. I remember one of them had a $130 activation fee. So that's still the same person that's just yelling for whatever reason. I don't know what's wrong with people, man. I don't know if it's mental illness. I don't know if it's something in the water or what. It's in the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, I had a credit card. It had a $300 limit. It had a $130 activation fee. And that was just really obnoxious. But at the time, I didn't know any better. You know, so you activate the card. It's only $300. And the activation fee was nearly half what the limit is. I would never repeat something so ridiculous. And I really couldn't afford to have those 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 two cars, even though they were low $300 limits. I was working 10, 12 hours a week at the jobs that I had. I couldn't afford to keep up with those cars. So my credit kind of got messed up because I didn't know any better. So I would definitely tell myself to do better when it comes to that. Um, certain Certain places that I hung out at, that I was just kind of wasting time and wasn't really getting any value out of it. I would tell myself to stay away from doing that sort of stuff. You know, I got kind of addicted to games at one point in time. I was like 20 years old and this was a, a colossal time sink. You know, I wasted a lot of time playing video games when I was in my early 20s, when I could have been grinding instead and really like laying the foundation for things to come because you have a finite amount of time to set up your life for how you want it to be 
and your 20s is optimal. You know, you don't want to spend your 20s BSing around. You want to spend your 20s really laying the groundwork for what life is going to look like when you're 40. Certain people I would stay away from. You know, there were some people uh, who I trusted and believed in and cared about and thought they cared about me the same. And they really did, you know, and they backstabbed me. And those were, you know, those were painful experiences because these are people who you care about and you think care about you the same way. I learned the hard way that not everybody views you the same way you view them. So in your mind, you guys have a much closer relationship and closer bond than what you really have in reality. So I got better at that. I guess I would, you know, I tell the younger me to just be more mindful of that. Now, some of the experiences that I had with, you know, being betrayed or being backstabbed, even though those experiences really sucked, they made me a better person. Like I evolved behind them. Um, I became wiser as a result of it. So it's hard to say if I could redo those, would I not experience them? Even though they were painful, the lesson that I got from them was so valuable. It's hard to say that um, it wasn't beneficial in some way to go through them. Um, let's see. I, uh, I, I certainly would have focused more on chasing excellence than chasing girls. You know, uh, as a young man, I was very popular with the ladies. And so I really took advantage of that. And I wouldn't do that to the same extent if I could do it over. If the older me could tell the younger me what a colossal waste of time that chasing girls is. If you just chase money instead, you'll have them anyway. I definitely would do that. Um, trying to think, are there any more? So there's money, there's uh, women, there's uh, betrayal. Um... I mean, this ties into money, uh, you know, investing. I would do better about that. You know, saving, investing. I would absolutely do better about that if I knew better. The noisy truck. I'm telling y'all, man, I attract all the noise. But I, I think those are the key ones, honestly. Those are the main ones for the for the most part, because you don't want to you don't want to block yourself from any experiences. Life is not supposed to be easy and carefree, not in those early years. It's very important that you suffer some because that's going to build character. So I wouldn't spare myself all of the experiences, but certain ones. Absolutely, I would. And the, the ones that I've named, I think, are the main ones everything else the me today would not tell the me from when i was like 20 because i realized that some of those experiences the wisdom i gained from them was so beneficial and i would want that younger me to still gain that knowledge and wisdom so i think that pretty much covers this i appreciate y'all man Ten thousand steps i'm gonna take a break to get that that pumpkin spice cream chai latte and i'm gonna get back out here and get back to walking because you know that thing is high as hell in calories and i'm gonna have to get to walking it off like this video if you did uh shoot um subscribe if you haven't already we over 2,000 subscribers now man that's amazing i've never had so many subscribers on my channel so that may not seem like a big deal to some people, but for me, that is a big deal. I've never had 2,000 people that were invested in what I had to say. You know, uh, I never had 2,000 people that um, believed that, uh, you know, I had value. I always had people around me that value my opinion, but I guess I, I realized that I really can bring value to more people's lives than just the ones around me. Instead of just touching the lives of the people around me i can extend that reach so that's that's a really awesome feeling man but i appreciate y'all as always man i'm gonna get out of here my latte wait peace <laughs>